Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Two brand new events have just been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we'll go over all of the announcement details so you don't miss them when they go live later this week. And of course, I think most of us were expecting a seven star terror raid event to be announced tonight that will be happening later this week. But it's not actually the case. If we hop over to Cerebi, a big shout out to Joe as per usual for this information. We've actually got a little bit of a mix up and we're going to start with a mass outbreak event, which we haven't had for a while. Next mass outbreak event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event will feature a focus on Oranguru and Pissimian in Paldea, Cramorant and Mopiko in Kitakami and Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Sandshrew in the Terrarium. No mark or shiny boost has been reported as of yet, but there still may be as the event comes closer. And of course, we'll update you as soon as we know anything here on the channel. And this event, of course, will run from midnight UTC on October the 18th. This is this coming Friday as of recording this video on the 14th of October, and it will end on the 20th of October on 2359 UTC. This will also be running alongside a mass outbreak event, but it won't be for seven star terror raids. It will just be for five star terror raids. And this event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and will feature a focus on Pokemon Armor Rouge, Serilege, Stonejourna and Ice Q, regardless of the version that you have. These will all be five star raids and the event will run from midnight again UTC on the 18th and through till the 20th, 2359 UTC. So you can see that these events are actually taking a big focus on the version exclusives that you have in game. And regardless of the version that you have, either Scarlet or Violet, you'll be able to get the opposite versions, version exclusives in this event, which is really nice. So we've seen a lot of events in the past where they have featured version exclusive Pokemon, but they've kind of kept them locked to specific versions of the game. But this time around, we're going to be able to access all of these Pokemon pretty easily in the games, especially if you've got the DLC for those outbreaks, you're going to be able to get the opposite version exclusives from these event Pokemon when they go live later this week. A little bit sad that we still haven't had the Feraligator and the Torterra, of course, but it's nice to mix things up and have a little bit of a break week. I'm sure after this finishes, once everything settles down, we'll have seven star terror raid Pokemon back and we'll finish up with those first partner Pokemon, which are going to be that Feraligator and Torterra. Which one we'll see first out of the two, who knows, but with only two remaining, uh, there's not really too much option for them left to do. And I'm excited to see what they do after these first partner Pokemon as well. But I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed that we have increased mark chances for the mass outbreaks as well as those shiny boosts. Of course, I will update the first pinned comment on the video. If you want to check this later in the week, then I will try and update as soon as we know some news about that. And of course, as well, if there is a shiny increased rate, we might do some streaming later this week just to do some shiny hunting in Pokemon Skull and Valley because it's always good to do, isn't it? Uh, that is everything for today's video, friends. I hope you have found it useful. It's a very quick update, but like usual, we kind of cover these events here on the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.